Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. It's the weekend and I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys, which I already did a sneak peek, but it came from one of my favorite YouTubers and one of my favorite um, organic products in the market. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. As you guys know, if you guys follow him on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook, he was doing a giveaway for some fake cuttings. <laughs> and last year I missed out on it. I didn't, um, I wasn't able to get it on time. And this year I'm lucky enough to receive these awesome fig cuttings that Charles from Ivy Organic gave us, well, gave away. I'm so excited to add these to my garden because if you guys went onto his channel or his Instagram, you guys would see that the figs that came out of these cuttings were amazing. Uh, so, so amazing. If you guys aren't already following him, I'll put the link right above so you guys can check them out. They're all ready to get put into um, some growing soil. I might, I might do the mat, the the back method that I did with my other fake cuttings last year that I cut from my neighbor's house. And what I did is I took a bag, had some holes in it, put it in there, and let it sit in there in a container because um, it was during the winter when I did that, so it needed to stay somewhat warm so it can start growing some roots and as you can see they're all moist this one is a strawberry bertie and this one is a raspberry so i'm so excited i'm gonna let them air out a little bit because they've been sitting in this bag with this moist rag and then i'm going to put them in a um bag or in a container i actually started growing seeds this season which will be my first season um successfully growing seeds uh last year i completely failed and i just wasn't too happy about it but it's okay i did some more research i got a grow light and then i got a, i just got a container plastic container and i put seeds in there and they're growing fantastically so i'm very excited i keep looking over there because they're right over there but i'll do a completely separate video about that and also charles when i went to um tour his garden it's amazing if you guys haven't seen that video i i'll try to post that in the link uh, right above i did a tour of his garden it's so beautiful and what i loved about it is that he has so much going on in such a small space and i hope that inspires a lot of you because uh, i know a lot of us don't have a big lot a big homestead we are limited in space and we want to grow as much as we can in a condensed space and that's what i'm doing and when i saw charles uh, garden i was completely inspired and i absolutely loved it but there was one plant that wasn't like an edible plant but it was just very pretty and as you guys know excuse me as you guys know i want to add more layers to my garden and i believe he said this to me he sent me a cutting i'm going to try to root this as well i believe it's called colleen um i'll try to put the name on on the video but um, I'm gonna put these in soil as well because I've taken so long to get them out. But as you can see, look at the red foliage. I really, really want to add um, some some color to my garden. I saw the way this plant was growing in shade in his garden, and I have a lot of sections where I have shade that I definitely where I can't grow fruit, but I can add beautiful plants like this one. So Charles, if you're watching this, correct me if I'm wrong. I can put a little bit of rooting hormone at the bottom of this and um, and put it in soil and hope that it roots. Kind of like the similar method that you use for the passion fruit vines when you do cuttings. I'm going to try doing the same method. And Charles was so, so generous to also send me some Ivy Organic um, protection against damage you guys saw me use this last year right before spring or right around spring I put this product on all my fruit trees to protect the trunk from sunburn and especially from any rodents they might want to chew through the um, trunk during the winter when it's you know not growing season and they're aching for food this product does amazing things I had 
a nectarine that was getting like sunburn it was just looking really bad i added this product for it the sunburn stopped and it's growing and i don't see any more um, effects of what it had in the past i'll try to put that video right above as well so you guys can see the damage that it had and i'll probably do a video coming up so you guys can see how that nectarine tree is growing without any damage now obviously it has the previous damage but it hasn't gotten worse and the, the tree is healing and closing the damage that it had so this product's amazing if you guys aren't familiar with it do some research um, look at ivy organics channel charles he has a lot of information about this product and um is organic so i love that i love that uh, a while ago i was told by a nursery person to just use paint which i mean i guess it works and i did use it before um charles came up with this product but i don't know what kind of chemicals are in the paint and i'm growing food so this is something that i want to feed myself and feed my family and i want to make sure that if i'm going through all the time and effort in producing fruit uh, and food then i'm doing it because i want to avoid all the chemicals that we're getting from all the food that we're getting from the market so this was very um, i was very very happy that charo came up with this product because i'm able to still protect my trees and still produce fruit organically anyways guys it's the weekend uh everybody's asleep so i'm very excited i was just outside in my courtyard just hanging out there looking at all my um my trees everything i have going on uh, i saw my succulent garden my little fairy garden it's completely outgrown itself it looks messy so i'm going to be redoing that um fairy garden and i'll be making a video for you guys i haven't done a lot of videos on succulents so um, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos coming up just because all my succulents are like growing. They're very leggy. They're very like very long and um, I'm going to behead them and reset them and save the like the long leg or the neck <laughs> because those will continue to produce um, succulents and I'll talk all about that in my video. I have a lot of uh, videos coming up. <laughs> just need to find the time to record them and um and just do what I need to do. Um, this I feel like this video is already too long because I I'm doing what I always do, talk a whole lot. <laughs> but uh, I'll be doing a video on the um, progress of these cuttings and also the progress of this cutting. Thank you so much, Charles. I'm so happy to get all of this. Um, this I I've been looking at your videos and every time I see that that video and you walk by your pond and this plant's right next to it, I'm like, oh my god, I just love the way that plant is growing and I absolutely wanted to get some of it into my garden so thank you so much Charles I appreciate it and thank you for being so generous and giving me all these little goodies it's like Christmas when I receive packages it's so much fun all right guys I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope you guys have uh, make the best out of it I hope you guys are out there trying to grow things and if it's not um feasible right now because of the weather get some paper and start drawing and writing down your ideas what you're going to do this upcoming spring and summer okay you guys have a good one bye uh -huh.